Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have some really exciting news regarding delivery dates of the C8 Corvette, as well as incredibly exciting news for us on the production of our C8 Corvette. If you guys could uh, do us a favor, we'd really appreciate it. If you haven't already, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Um, if you have, you know, leave a like, leave a comment. What that's going to do is just allow us to reach more people, get more from YouTube, and then put more back into the channel. It would really mean a lot to us, guys. I just wanted to give everyone a quick update regarding our order for C8, our first C8. Uh, we've ordered two vehicles. One is a black 2LT uh, coupe. Uh, Z51 with Magride. The other is the same in Arctic White. Uh, we just got word from our dealer today that the black one, our first one, um, is being moved or has been moved to 3400 status. What this means is that it's moved through the GM production system and is now loaded or broadcasted at the actual assembly plant in the assembly line. What that means is pre-production has started on it, so all the parts and everything, you know, have been sourced. This is the last status update you get before it's been produced. So based on, you know, rumors and, you know, a little bit of speculation, some good insight from people who've been around this in the past and are around it currently, uh, it seems like GM may be about a week ahead of production. So even though it has a TPW or target production week, of February 3rd, it seems like it may actually be um, bumped up maybe a week or so. Um, it is looking like this will be a first day production. So we should be having our vehicle produced, um, you know, on that first day, whenever it is, whether it's a week early or February 3rd. Uh, these things can change. I just wanted to share the update as this is incredibly exciting news for us um, and the whole C8 Corvette community, right? This vehicle has been delayed since its inception, essentially, uh, you know, originally rumored to be a January unveil that got bumped to July. Then, of course, the strike that happened right after our orders went through in August, um, you know, which delayed things again. So it's nice to have, you know, a, you know, a little bit of hope here and some some status updates and, you know, evidence that these things are really kind of pushing through. Really excited about that. Um, now, digging into the Corvette blogger info the statement comes from gm however they were kind of talking about that vin number one that sold to rick hendrick for three million so it might have been an offhand comment you know it wasn't exactly like a press release or anything like that um, but what they're saying um, verbatim is corvette coupe production will begin at gm's bowling green assembly plant in kentucky early in february with customer deliveries slated to begin before the end of february so take that for what it is. Um, that's really exciting for me because, you know, there were rumors of an 8 to 12 week quality control hold on these vehicles. Meaning, you know, even though our vehicle is going to be produced sometime next week or the week after, um, you know, we wouldn't be getting it for another, you know, up to 13 weeks after that, which would just be agonizing. So this gives us a little bit of hope, um, you know, that, you know, we may see this, you know, if not in February and early March which would be music to our ears. We can't wait to get our vehicles on the road, searching some tests for you guys, having lots of fun with them. You know, just kind of showing you what it's like to live with these cars as you know, you're waiting for yours or if you're still kind of on the fence or you know, maybe even just dreaming about it. Um, we really want to share with you guys whatever we can about this. So having this info really gets us excited. Um, we're going to start posting a lot more videos, get everything ready. Um, you know, we're looking for shop space right now. Um, to make sure that you know we have all the tools necessary to really take you through a day in the life of you know what this car can be we have some mods slated we have uh emails out to different vendors and manufacturers and stuff to make sure that you know we can kind of take you guys through a really unique um you know uh ownership of this vehicle you know different mods different accessories different you know ways of enjoying this vehicle and you know trying to make it as appealing to you guys as possible um, you know, lots of burnouts, lots of races, you know, um, nothing illegal, of course, wink, wink, but, you know, going down to Mexico where there are, uh, you know, less laws as far as driving and stuff like that go. But yeah, we're going to have a ton of fun with these. Uh, we're at this video up now. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update here. I didn't really want to go through the whole clickbait thing and ramble on unnecessarily long, you know, just to get, you know, a good YouTube favor, you know, whatever reason these guys stretch their videos out for ad revenue or whatever. 
Um, not to say that we don't appreciate the ad revenue. You know, any money we get from the channel, we're able to put back into the vets, being completely forth with you guys here. So please subscribe, you know, please click the notification button. Do what you can to help us out. We'd really appreciate it. If not, that's cool too. Watch the videos, that's fine. But um, it means a lot to us to get the subscribers. And, you know, if you guys could show the report by, or show your support by clicking the like buttons and commenting and stuff, that boosts engagement with our videos, which kind of makes them rank a little higher in, within YouTube, which in turn will give us more views, more money, and give us more money to pump back into this and just give you guys the coolest C8 experience um that we possibly can and that's what this all this is about we're not looking to you know make money uh you know in line our pockets or anything we just you know want to support this project support our passion with the corvettes and you know pass that on through the support that you give us so that's it uh look forward to touching base with you guys soon drop some comments let us know what you're excited about let us know what you want us to do when we get the uh cars right which should be pretty soon here and yeah, that's it, guys. Take care.